Okay, question number 19. A Rimu school bought 25 textbooks and 35 exercise books for 13,500 Kenyan shillings from a bookshop A. From the same bookshop, Soma school bought 21 textbooks and 38 exercise books and spent uh, 1,300 res and Erimu. Take X to represent the price of the textbook and Y to represent the price of exercise book. Uh, uh, so, uh, part A, form two equations representing the above information. So, we have been told to use, a, uh, so for textbook, uh, we use, a, uh, that is, we use X, and for exercise book, we use Y, textbook, uh, we use Y. Now, looking back at the question, uh, uh, so we are going to say 25 uh, this is uh, for Erimu we have 25 X 25 X size book plus uh, 35 uh, X size books that is Y is equals to the amount spent is 13 500 Kenyan shillings <coughs> for summer school they spent 1,300 than Nerimu. Uh, so we can come here and say 13,500. You subtract 1,300. Uh, so this is 0, 0, 2. And this is 2, 1,000. That means they spent uh, 12,200. Uh, and they bought uh, 21 uh, textbook. So it is 21x uh, plus uh, they bought that 8 exercise book, that 8 exercise book, so that 8y is equals to 12,200. Uh, so that, if you are able to get that, uh, you get two marks, one mark for each equation. Uh, and don't forget to, sub, to, get the other, to calculate uh, the amount spent by Erim. Uh, we look at part B. Use matrix method uh, to determine the price of each item. In form 3, you did uh, matrices. And uh, this is application of matrices. So this, this is how you write this matrix. So we say it is 25, uh, 35. Uh, this is 25, 35. Here we have 21. Uh, we have 38. Uh, close the bracket. We, uh, that is... Uh, with the bracket we have x and y uh, that should give you another matrix here 13500 and this is 12200 so that is the matrix that uh, you form out of this uh, linear equation uh, to be able to get the uh, to, 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 to solve for x to determine if we solve here you'll be able to get x and x is the price of a textbook y is the uh, price of um, price of the exercise uh, that is exercise book uh, now uh, for you to be able to solve this you need to get the determinant let me use here uh, okay because of space uh, let me just uh, let me use uh, uh, this part here so determinant of this matrix is equals to uh, to get the determinant you multiply the elements of the diagonal here a main diagonal that is 25 you multiply by 38 and you minus uh, 35 multiply by 21 and when you multiply that you use your calculator uh, you should be able to get 25 multiply by 38 you minus uh, this is uh, 35 uh, multiplied by 21 that is giving me 200 and uh, 215 okay this is 215 uh, that is 215 now to be able to get uh, to be able to get the to solve this uh, you need to get to, to okay you multiply both sides by the inverse of the matrix 
And uh, what is the inverse of the matrix? Uh, the inverse of a matrix is 1 over the determinant, 215. Put the bracket. You interchange the elements of the main diagonal. So here we have 38 and here we have 25. And introduce a minus sign to the other diagonal. So this is minus 35 and this is minus 21. So that is the inverse of the matrix. You multiply by this matrix. Uh, this is 25, uh, 35, and this is uh, 21, and this is 38. Uh, and then we have X and Y. So that is on the uh, left hand side. Uh, is equals to whatever you do to the to this side, you also do it to the other side. So you say it is the inverse. 215 1 over 215 uh, you put the bracket you, you get interchange the elements of the main diagonal so that is 38 35 this one here we have created the inverse uh, this is 21 and this is 25 right uh, then you multiply with the uh, our matrix here that is 13,500 and 12,200 right now what we know is that uh, when you multiply a matrix with it inverse this side it should give you an identity matrix when you multiply the identity matrix with the x and y you end up with x and y so the left hand side uh, we have will be left with one y uh, it will be a waste of time if you have obtained the correct uh, inverse of the matrix that should be correct uh, you don't need to work out that so what we need to work is the other side and uh, uh, so uh, you say it is 1 over 15 uh, 1 over 215 uh, then the matrix here you use your calculator uh, you can use your calculator so it is that the 8 uh, that the 8 uh, multiply by multiply that 8 multiply by 13500 13500 uh, you add to uh, you can use a bracket uh, minus 35 35 multiply by 12 of, uh, that is 12200 and you close the bracket and that is giving me uh, that is giving me minus uh, it is okay let me check uh, properly uh, when you multiply that I think I've made a mistake here uh, let me see that the 8 multiply, okay, let, 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 let me try again that the 8 uh, you multiply by that 10 500 uh -huh. you add uh, uh -huh. you add to uh, minus 35 okay 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 i get it my uh i think okay uh okay let's use another you say minus 35 and i multiply by 12 of 200 and i'll close the bracket and i'll see yeah now i think that's okay i'm okay now uh, i'm getting 80, 86 86 000 uh huh. Uh, then I multiply. You multiply twenty one. Multiply by that thing. So I'll say uh, minus twenty one. Multiply by uh, thirteen five hundred. Thirteen five hundred. Uh, then you add to add to. Uh, you use a bracket. Uh, I use twenty five, and I multiply by twelve of two hundred. I close my bracket. And I'm getting uh, 200 and 21,500. 21, uh, now, what remains uh, implying that x, y, that is x, y, is it, you, multiply, you divide 86,000, 86,000, you divide by 215. Or rather, you multiply it, 1 over 215, multiply by 86,000. I'm getting that is 400. 
uh, then uh, do the same with 21 so you say 21,500 you divide by 215 and that should give you a hundred very good that means uh, what we have here uh, since we already a textbook x is equals to uh, let's uh, let's correct that uh, x is equals to 400 shillings that is the price of uh, a textbook and uh, y is equals to a hundred bob uh, the, the cost of exercise book was uh, 100 so if you do that then you should be able to get the five marks uh, part c in uh, bookshop b the cost of uh, a textbook was five percent less than that and that of an exercise book was uh, five percent more in a uh, in a uh, in a uh, bookshop in uh, than in bookshop a kasuku school bought the same number of textbook and exercise uh, exercise books as erimu school in bookshop b calculate the difference is in the amount spent by kasuku uh, and erimu school now we need to find out how much erimu uh, erimu school spent uh, and because the textbook is five uh, five uh, that is uh, five percent less uh, then we say uh, the cost of uh, textbook is a uh, textbook is 400 so it means they were buying the book at if it is five percent it is 95 over 100 okay and uh, they bought the same number of uh, books uh, like a limit that will be a cost of one book uh erimu they bought uh, kasuku the same erimu erimu bought uh, how many textbook uh 25 so you multiply by 25 to find the amount they spent and then you add uh the the exercise book was more the exercise book we have said it is costing 100 you multiply since it is costing more it means they bought it at 105 of 100 which is the same as uh, 1.05 uh, and you multiply they bought the same exercise that the, that the five exercise book so that would give you the cost or the amount they spent the amount uh, erimu spent let me see whether i'll be able to do that uh, so you can uh, divide this uh, you, let's simplify this uh, then we have uh, we have uh, uh, four uh, multiplied by ninety five multiplied by twenty five uh, then plus one o five one o five multiplied by thirty five and that is giving me uh, uh, thirteen thousand that is giving me thirteen thousand using my calculator and we have one seventy five. So that is the amount they spent uh, and remember uh, mm -hmm. uh, Erimus had spent 13,500 so we can get the difference uh, difference uh, it will be difference it will be uh, 13,500 that was spent by Erimus minus uh, 13,175 uh, so you come here and say uh, that 10 you minus that uh, you'll be able to get uh, the difference is 325 so calculate the difference so they spent uh, that means that uh, erimu spent um, 325 uh, kenyan shillings more more than what kasuku used so that you by doing that you'll be able to get three marks uh, so looking at the question uh, this question is uh, uh, you learned about uh, so you should be able to you remember how to solve a linear equation using the matrix method and you can see that is where you will be able to score more marks five marks if you are able to so this will be able to forming equation that is uh, not very difficult uh, but you should be able to form the correct equations because you remember here you should be able to get the cost the, the, the amount sp spent by soma 
by subtracting uh, 1,300 from 13,500. Uh, so once you do that, when you form the correct equation, then you should know how to uh, how to solve a called, uh, linear equation, simultaneous equi linear equation using the matrix method, which you learned in form three uh, when you are doing matrices. Uh, then the last part, uh, I think this this is not very difficult, uh, but remember now the whatever you are get you get in part C is based on what you got in part B, because if you did not get the correct price of the exercise textbook and exercise book, it means you will not be able to use you not you use the wrong values here and you will not be able to get the correct uh, uh, answer in part C. So that's what I would say about this question. Uh, you need a mastery of uh, solving simultaneous equations using the matrix method. So that's how you do that.